My name is Martin Davis. I'm the manager for the Microsoft Technology Centre in the UK. The MTC has three core services that we offer. They're strategy briefings, architecture design sessions and proof of concept workshops. What I realised when I first looked at the smart technology is that the barrier of using that technology is very, very small. It's very intuitive, very simple to use. People tend to forget that they're using a computer. They still think they're using a whiteboard and pen. I would say for many people, adopting and using smart board technology is very, very easy. Many of them just stand up and pick up a pen and start using it just like a normal whiteboard. Some of the more advanced features can take a few minutes to learn, but once people understand what they can do, they can use them very, very easily. And I would say that there is a minimum learning curve to adopting this technology. One of the challenges that I always have with the meetings I run is that I generate a lot of content on the whiteboards over perhaps a two or three day meeting. And the ability to organise that content, to rapidly access it, is absolutely key. And what the smart boards have given me is the ability to come up with effectively a limitless amount of space, but to be able to use that space in a very creative and interactive way so that I have all of the information I need at the end of a meeting and I can access it at any point through that meeting. I think the smart board technology has enriched the customer experience at the MTC. As soon as I start, for example, selecting items on the board, moving them around, resizing them, um, moving something from one whiteboard to another, or actually collaborating on drawing a diagram that someone is working on on one whiteboard and I can be annotating separately on another board in another colour, people really start understanding the capabilities and potential of having an interactive whiteboard in the room. I think the smart technology has helped us accelerate the engagement process we have with customers because we can have uh, more engaging, more interactive and collaborative conversations in ways that we couldn't do with normal non-interactive whiteboards. It also has enabled me to be able to document and write up the sessions that I have with customers far more quickly which means I can move on to another customer instead of actually spending a couple of days writing that up. By taking away the need for an architect to spend two or three days potentially on a, a write-up for a particular engagement, means that that architect can spend that time preparing for another engagement or even having another customer come in and going through the same process with them. It's a combination of freeing up architect time, freeing up the room time, which allows us to potentially see more customers, which in the long term could be potentially more sales, more wins, more technology adoption. I think moving forward where we can see these boards becoming link certified and then playing an active part in some of the scenarios that we talk around for unified communications, they will have more of a direct impact on revenue that we could be uh, impacting throughout the course of the year. I think some of the power of the interactivity of these boards comes when you start using them not just as whiteboards but as a, a way of interacting with other applications that, that we have running on a PC. If I had an existing PowerPoint deck, I could open that PowerPoint deck and start annotating it and then bring it into the notes of that meeting. Or I could, for example, open up a web page and actually start annotating what's on that web page, bring it in as a snapshot so that I have that as a record of what we talked about during that meeting. I think the ability to work with any application as part of uh, the desktop effectively is a huge benefit in terms of the productivity of the meeting. The smart boards have helped in a couple of ways. Firstly, there's the ability to have a meeting with a customer in a far more interactive and collaborative way than was otherwise possible with a non-interactive whiteboard. Secondly, actually walking away from a meeting with a set of electronic notes is far more productive. In order to think about whether a smart board technology is right for you, um, consider whether you could benefit from a, a higher degree of interactivity or collaboration in the conversations you have in your meetings. I think we have certainly benefited from that. You are going to get huge benefits from having a highly interactive uh, workspace and the ability to work together to solve a problem more uh, constructively than one person working on their own. These smart boards are being rolled out across all MTCs globally. We do quite a few engagements where part of the team will be, for example, in Boston in the US and the other part will be in the UK. So we'll do briefings and we'll do engagements across those two locations. And we've also had the ability to do video conferencing, but it being able to link that to the smart boards where we can then also do whiteboarding and have that real-time interaction with people several thousand miles away, that is going to have a massive impact on how we deliver those sorts of engagements. Moving forward, I'd like to see these being rolled out and used in other parts of the organisations because the benefits of them are there for us to make use of. When we talk to customers as well, their eyes light up and the light bulbs go on on the top of their head, 
thinking about exactly the same sort of issues that they have, how they can collaborate more effectively, how they can make use of the efficiencies that these bring to meetings, and how they can use these to reduce the impact they have on their travel across the country and internationally. Thank you.